So with the Revenge of the Cartels, we see the addition of a new grenade mod, and it's called the Fish Slap. And a grenade's not only crazy weird, but it's amazing at the same time if you can find certain variants. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out. And subscribe if you do want to see more. So this fish slap grenade is an exclusive drop during the Revenge of the Cartels event. And it drops from Fish Slap, as you would imagine. Who is located obviously upon the Villa Ultraviolet. Now I've seen a few other sources state that this can drop elsewhere, but mine have all dropped from Fish Slap and it kind of makes sense to me. It also drops offering all elements too, so that's a pretty cool addition. Now this grenade does indeed drop with a few interesting prefixes, but for me the best one you want to go ahead and obtain is one with that elemental damage prefix, which within my testing isn't too rare at all. Because what this prefix on this grenade does is in fact activate some serious benefits if set up and thought about right. So all the variants I have all kind of act differently, but the main purpose of this grenade is its party trick. Fish slaps damage is melee damage, which means you can pair this grenade with many other things for extra damage via melee damage sources. And that's what this is all about. Damage output can really depend on the way you set this up. Also, this anointment here seems to be a popular one on this grenade, which is a new anointment of while an action skill is active, grenade damage is increased by 150%. That's really a nice addition to have on any grenade, especially for those who use them within grenade builds. Now back to this grenade's ability. Fish slaps damage is melee damage. Under my testing, this works well with shields that deal extra melee damage on shield depletion, but also works amazingly with certain artifacts too as there are many, many variants across the board in which melee attacks deal said damage and so forth. Looking at this artifact right here, the Commander Planetoid, deals 75% bonus elemental damage whenever you melee an enemy, and that elemental damage type changes every 5 seconds. This comes into play when using this grenade, and we see the effects when using it against that test dummy. This artifact adds shock damage to all melee attacks, Works again amazingly with this grenade, and we again seeing it coming into play here. This one here, incendiary damage, also does the exact same thing, people. So what we actually have here, guys, is a grenade mod, which is unlike any other, because it actually allows you to do some crazy setups, which in turn could see this grenade mod being the front of many, many new builds. I'm going to work on a grenade build now just because it's grenade people, because I think I can achieve something amazing here. Also with many aspects of items actually playing a major role in something I feel a lot of them were being forgotten about for. Now the variants you can see here I do have very massively. Now weirdly enough the two that are lower damage of 10k and 13k dropped on that Mayhem 10. The one here with 20k dropped on Mayhem 6 for my pal Toothless Fury who hooked me up with this for today's video so big shout out to him. So yeah, that puzzled me. How this dropped on Mayhem 6 and it's miles better than the ones I've seen on Mayhem 10 is just crazy people. I have thought though that something isn't right about Mayhem 2.0 and its loot drops have been a little fruity. I mean I'd done the Malawan raid last night and drops just seemed terrible, at least for me anyway. So definitely drop rates for me don't seem right. But anyway guys, this fish slap grenade is definitely a contender for one of the best grenades in the game right now, just because of how unique it is and what can be achieved with it. So go and get this thing guys, I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Did I mention as well you actually throw out a fish when using this thing? Absolutely crazy. But on that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.